we're in the kitchen today and I haven't been in the kitchen for a while with you guys and I thought I would share um, a recipe for white chocolate cheesecake. I found it in a craft cookbook, one of those little ones that you find at the grocery store about, I don't know, 12 years ago and I hadn't made it again until recently and I forgot how good it was, I forgot how easy it was and everybody loved it so I thought I would share it with you so that maybe you want to try it and it's delicious. Now what you're going to need is two packages of Philadelphia cream cheese, a pre-made pie crust, and this is just a graham cracker crust that's pre-made. They also have Oreo ones, chocolate ones, um, shortbread I saw today, the reduced fat, which is actually what this is, and you can never, you won't even tell the difference. So pick whatever, whatever type you want, and, and this is a six ounce crust. I know that they have a bigger one now also. And then you're going to want these white chocolate chips, or white chocolate morsels, whatever you want to call them. And it's a third and a third, and you'll see why we have them split. It's two thirds total. But And then we also have a half a cup of sugar, and we're going to do a half a teaspoon of vanilla and two eggs. And I have the oven preheating at 350 already. The first thing that you want to do is you're going to open your two packages of the cream cheese and you want them softened. So I had them sitting out for a while so they'll be easy easy to use with the mixer. So the first thing you have your your cream cheese in the bowl and then you're going to add your half a cup of sugar. You're going to use an electric mixer and on a medium setting you're going to beat it until it's well blended. Once you have the cream cheese and the sugar well blended you're going to want to add the eggs. So go ahead and crack them into the bowl. And don't forget a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you're going to mix that again until it's well blended. You're going to take one third cup of, of the white chocolate morsel and mix it in. And you can do um, shaved white chocolate also like the baking chocolate if you wanted to. But all you're going to do is stir this right into your mix. And once you have them all mixed in, all you're going to do is pour it right into your pie crust. Once you have your mixture into the pie crust, all you're going to do is take the remaining chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, and just drop them on there. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll show you when it's all done. Here's the cheesecake fresh out of the oven. Now let it cool and then put it in the refrigerator for at least three hours or overnight and you'll have this delicious dessert either to enjoy at home or take with. And think of all the things that you can decorate it with. You can put maybe some candy coated almonds on it for Easter. You could put some candy sprinkles on it. You could put some fresh vanilla over it. There's so many different things that you could do with it. So I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Don't forget to check out my website at www.craftclotch.com. Thanks for watching.